All right, so um, we're here today at Turtle Creek. I'm gonna do some fly fishing with the Tenkara. No big deal. Um, so second Iowa trout stream. I was very successful here last time, but I didn't really do much recording. So today we're gonna do that and we're gonna go ahead and check out what it is all about. Um, the fishing here is really good um, because this whole thing is stocked heavily, heavily with rainbows. I came out here for brooks and browns, but you know, I mean, you get what you get, you don't throw a fit. So that's, that's all you got. Um, with that being said, um, yeah, so it's really cool. It's actually an easement, which I was surprised to find here in the Midwest. Um, I just grew up in the Midwest. It's private. You can't fish my stuff. So um, it's nice to see that Iowa's just like, yeah, dude, we're not only going to stock these trout streams, but we're going to work with private property, uh, you know, private landowners to make sure that the public can fish and they stock these things up. And I'll tell you, this creek right here up near those trees is really well stocked. But I know where the honey hole is. And actually, to be perfectly honest, these things are so heavily stocked that there's not a lot of, <laughs> not a lot of, stream for as many fish as they have in here and uh, uh it hasn't rained everybody here and if you look around this might make you laugh but everybody here complains about a drought uh, so yeah it doesn't look like a drought condition to me um coming from uh the front range in colorado but they um around here say there's so little water so i could see it you know i mean you know, everybody has different things they're used to. But yeah, corn and the stream continues that way. Comes down here, but there's a nice deep pool over here and the fish just sit in one spot. So it's pretty cool. And hopefully I'll grab five decent sized trout out of here today. I forgot my net, unfortunately, but shouldn't be a thing. And yeah, who would have thought, you know, a great spot. So yeah, right up here at this tree, um, it'll be kind of weird because the fish will be able to see me a little bit, but I'm hoping to climb down the bank and cast uh, to where the stream inlets, but we'll see. So yeah, great signage, great access. And uh, yeah, there's also a nasty little thing out here called wild parsnip. Fun if you look at that side. The entire thing I was standing in last time is all wild parsnip and when it flowers, um, supposedly it's worse than poison ivy. It causes a uh, blistering of the skin, which sounds fun. Um, so yeah, pretty nasty stuff. But let's see the water clarity before I get this thing rigged up. Oh, she's super clear. The fish in here are super active. Let's see. If you're looking under the tree, very active spot. But you see where that stream is coming out. That's where I'm going to be tossing into and letting it fall right into there. And there is just a boatload of fish in there. I'll land them here, stringer them up here, so no big deal. Going for big ones only. Um, yeah, and so there's another pool up here, and it's just like kind of stagnant. It seems to trap fish, so I don't know. Should be fun, but again, you know, what a beautiful spot. I mean, like three and a half minutes from the car, you just pull up, and you're catching trout. So we'll get some trout fishing. So as you can imagine, as I'm setting up here, the... Uh, the trout here aren't very wise. They're stalkers and whatnot, but I mean, they do not see a lot of pressure in comparison to other places where, you know, it's fished heavily for trout. So um, I'm using a fly. Looks like it's a bumblebee pattern of some sort, but uh, what I noticed is they didn't really like my traditional Japanese Tenkara Kabari um, last time, but anything that was at their nose, basically they would hit. So I don't have to be too picky about flies. Any massive general fly is going to work. Oh my gosh, there's some sort of butterfly party going on down here. That's super weird. It looks like they're doing something. Look at these guys. What are they doing? I don't know, dudes. Seems pretty weird, bros. But I'm not going to screw with them. But yeah, there's those fish hitting out there. So I just repaired this rod, actually. And I broke this section, which sucked. I actually broke it right over there. So I'm just going to be super cautious about making sure all my stuff is working properly because that one section cost me $50, which wasn't fun. So yeah, let's see if we can catch a fish here. Oh yeah, there's tons of them in there. This cat's not so great. Seems like I'm running a 
wet fly. like they're more into nymphs. But I'm gonna hit this other side real quick and see what happens. over here and see. So last time I fished this slough and it's super gross but I have really good responses over here. It looks totally stagnant. There's fish all over this place. little rainbow. the other spot. Seems like these guys have wised up. There we go. There we go. Feels like a decent fish. Oh yeah, she's a good one. That'll eat, as they say. Nope. There it is. Second cast lock. Pretty nice. Right thing. Oops. Felt like that might have been a strike, but at the same time, could have been weeds. It's hard to tell because you can't fish the tank car stuff normally. There's trout right there. Oh my god, there's a whole school.
musculature out here. I'm just standing in the midst of them. It's hilarious. I hope the GoPro's picking it up. router in here. I feel like I could probably just start snagging them if I wanted to. But yeah, I have a feeling this is going to be like one of those things where... Oh, yeah, there we go. Fish number five. Look at him go. Yeah, he's a small guy. Good job, dude. 